I am heading to Ohio. Jared and uh, Casey and Doug have been hunting there for two days now, and uh, they just had a killer day yesterday. Saw all kinds of nice big shooters on their feet moving around, and tomorrow is supposed to be super cold. The high is in the 30s, uh, lows in the lower 20s. It's going to be a really, really good day. So I'm ready to get over there. I've been waiting and waiting. Uh, I haven't been able to go anywhere because uh, my dog is sick. Uh, my, my good old buddy Sawyer has a uh, pretty terminal cancer and uh, he hadn't been doing very well. But uh, my wife's going to be able to take care of him and kind of take over some of my duties so I can go hunting for these next two days. Uh, I got a kind of a late start today. It's a rainy, drizzly, cold day. And uh, I'm actually, instead of going to our lease and hunting with those guys, going to hit some public land first and check out two spots that should be pretty good. And it all is going to matter uh, if there's a lot of human sign in there. If there is, I ain't going to hunt them. I'll go to our lease and hunt there. Uh, but those guys have been there for two days and you know they're laying down ground scent and uh, hopefully not spooking a bunch of big bucks but they might be so i think it's at least a good idea to check out some public ground see what's going on and then go from there oh fingers crossed it's november the 9th and anything can happen especially in the state of ohio i'm excited shot a pretty nice eight pointer oh my god he ran I saw him run a long way but I think I drilled him oh I gotta call Jared he's like 150 yards from me did you hear that yeah that big eight that looks like a flyer yeah, he come right in. I shot him at 20 yards. It looked like I drilled him here. I mean, it looked like he ran a long way around the hill below this clear cut towards your dad's stand. There it looks fucking good. Hell yeah. I mean, it's drenched in blood. I, I haven't found blood walking down through here the way he went, though. I mean, there's a little bit here at impact in a few spots. After he came out, I realized he wasn't that big. Still a good buck though. And still, for five years of freaking hunting over here, I put in enough dues. If there's that many bucks running in here, one of these bucks is gonna freaking come and try to smell what's all up in here. Has to happen. Congratulations, buddy. Uh, I, hope, uh, I, hope I, I hope I got him, man. I, though, Look by the looks here. of the arrow. Which world you should be? He come from right up in there, came down around and up this log. I was in just other than right here at the arrow, but that arrow is just drenched. Dude, it, I mean, you can't it, pick it up without getting blood all over your hands. <laughs> Too. Oh, 
Well, guys, it's uh, the next morning. We had real good blood last night for about 125 yards. And then there was a huge pile of blood and then nothing. It had rained during the day, stopped raining. The buck came in, I shot him. Playing worked out very well. The deer came exactly where I thought he would from exactly where I thought he'd come from. Um, with all that rain on the ground and it being so wet, it uh, made it real hard to find blood. And when we finally got on it, it was real good blood. Um, the shot on the video, it looks back, but you really can't tell um, exactly where it hits, where the impact is because of a tree that was from the camera's angle over the vitals. Now, I was out several feet from the camera. Um, and to me, when I pulled that trigger when the arrow impacted the deer my first impression was dead deer and looking at the arrow my impression is dead deer it was it did have a little bit of grit but it's not gut I'm almost thinking it might be liver um, definitely lung the last blood we had was just all bubbly foamy looked like real good blood um, but then it stopped and and we searched a good while last night looking for the next blood and never did find it so it's morning now all the guys are out hunting um, I'm gonna go and do a grid search see if I could find some sort of sign in there that buck has to be dead there's no way you survive that arrow um, and, and you know if it's liver he's dead it's it has some lung at least one lung i mean i don't see how it wouldn't have got both lungs but here we are um it did unfortunately rain last night as soon as we got back here to camp um it's super cold this morning i don't know i'm bummed but I, again I, that deer's dead it's just a matter of whether we bumped him last night or not um it's just a matter of where he is I know he's dead so I'm gonna get out here in just a few minutes and uh, you know see see what I see I really think um, he should be dead somewhere close to that last blood would be my guess but you know, who knows it was uh, dark last night when we were looking he could be real close and we just never saw him guys I'm here at the last blood um, it's still here you can still see it um, and that's after rain so that's after it rained all night that's how big that pile of blood was and it was the uh, size of a frying pan and there's blood everywhere so I got my Onyx tracker on. I'm just gonna kind of grid search. Hope to find blood. I mean, the way he was running right down this big trail makes sense. I don't know. So I'm just gonna grid search this whole area. I might have to shed some clothes here because I'm already sweating. Um, dressed for the tree stand. <laughs> and I'm walking, so I'm a little bit warm. I'm really hoping I find this deer. Well, guys, I uh, had to give up. I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked for that deer all morning. And this just wasn't anywhere. I have no idea what happened to that deer. It really is. It's like it just poof. No tracks. No spots where it slid. No leaves kicked up, no blood, no hair, no nothing. It's like it hit that one spot. And once it hit that spot, the deer just vanished into thin air. I looked everywhere on our property and just didn't see any sign of any deer that was crippled up or anything. 
I know the deer's dead. You don't get an arrow that looked like mine from a deer that's alive. And we probably wouldn't attract it so quickly, but everything pointed to a lung, double lung shot. And it looked like a double lung. So, I don't know.